Yeah, but I also, the next job on, the, on my DeLorean is to um, remove the plastic sill covers. So um, the reason I want to do this is, um, as you can, see, you can probably see here that the paint has been painted along the bottom because um, there's potentially some damage on the right hand side. But in order to better get the, get the wings, the wing off, to be able to check the back of the wing to see if, if there is actually any damage or not, um, you have to be able to take the sill off. Because um, the seal's held, held on by 12 screws along the bottom, plus it's then clipped in in various positions along here, and there's a screw each, at each end, like that, or bolt, not bolt each end, that's a gist. And um, what I found, seems most people have found, is that uh, there's 12 screws on each side, they're all like literally soft like butter, so they just, they just won't, won't open. You put, you put a screwdriver in to try and, try and turn it, and you just basically just round, round the hole up can't get any mold grips on there there's they're too flat so they're literally flat um, black screws so i tried to drill one out when you drill it out it generates too much heat um obviously you can stop and spray it with water and all this sort of stuff of course but it'll take you ages but um it generated too much heat that started to melt the plastic so this has worked really really well so it's a mid-range rotary tool and these are the ones you want don't buy rubbish cheap ones these are the ones that work so general 38 mil um one mil thick there's the box there, easy speed click. Um, there's about five or so in the box, about a tenner on, on, on a, in a eBay UK. It's really, really good. So I've used one of these so far, and this is a brand new one. Um, so what I've done so far is I've gone into each screw, to each all 24 screws, and then literally don't you, don't, don't you jack the car up. From this sort of angle here, you can um, cut off uh, half of the head. And you can do it really, really easily with it with this with this tool, really controlled. Once I sort of cut it off, you know, just about just about to hit with the plastic, then I've just got a screwdriver underneath it and just literally just lifted it and then it just pinged off. And then I was only able to cut the side off and the left and the right side of the the remaining part of the screw off, just leaving the back part of the screw. I left this on because as I used the car last night, but from what I can see, it looks like there's you know a reasonable size hole there. So I think once I get my fingers underneath there, I'll be able to um pull this plastic piece up over the top of here and then I'll, and then once it's off I'll remove the screws each end or nuts and bolts whatever they are at each end and then take the panel off and then I'll see what I've got and then I believe then I'll probably need to also I'll need to you know um, grind off the screw and whatever's whatever's holding the screw in place in place potentially a rivet nut maybe we'll have to have a look at that uh, I've ordered um, 25 stainless steel screws which are going I'll show the spec and the size and all that sort of stuff once I know that they work plus I've ordered 25 well nuts as well so you can use rivet nuts or well nuts I've gone for the rubber well nuts because this is obviously light light as hell you know and um a bit rubber as well it gives me a bit more a bit more flexibility in the hole and all that sort of stuff so we'll see we'll see what happens when the parts arrive and once this panel's off um they're also clipped along the top here as well um so the clips itself are not the the, the um, female clips are about ninety p, and the male male clips I believe are well are sort of welded to the bottom of the wings, on there. And I know that on 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 my right hand side, one of my female clips looks like it's rusty, but the other ones look good. But you can see here the gap's really good. This hasn't been off before, so so that's you know, pretty nice. So yeah, plan I say to get these off, grind them, grind them all off, get them all off. I know it might be a bit of a pain, but that's what it is. And then I can then take the wing off and have a look on the back of the wing, see if there's any damage to any of the wings. Um, and if there's no damage, then I can remove um, this part of the paint, which the original owner um, put on, which I, it's, not, it's not a bad thing, but I just want the car fully stainless. Plus also, there's some scratches and stuff on the paint on the opposite side, and a bit of damage on the paint around this sort of section here. So if I can remove the paint, you know, have back to stainless steel, that's just what I want anyway, you know. Cool, so yeah, I'm gonna crack on now and go for it. Nice one, but yeah, that's that's the tool you want. Right, here we go. So yeah, had to um front wheel, just have to turn it um to the left so you can get your um socket set in there. That's fine. Uh, rear wheel, just take the rear wheel off. What well, I did anyway to get this because I wasn't able to get um the socket on it at the right angle and all that sort of there's, there's not enough room. So that's released. Um, obviously it's seized, so it just span round in here. So I need to repair that. That's fine, and then these are just clipped on. So I'm just gonna pull this off. Cool. This is obviously the first time I've looked at it. So yeah, not too bad. So looking underneath here, obviously got your screws um, for your wings, for, for some screws for the wing, plus a bolt for the wing. 
Yeah, that all looks good. I'll probably replace these. If these come out, I'll replace those. Clean up, replace it with stainless whilst I'm there. And that's all good. There's some clips here to hold the um, plastic on. Um, yeah, and these are, the, these, are the, these are the babies here. So you can see here that uh, yeah, you've got the remains of the bolt, remains of the screw or bolt. I mean, it, 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 was, a, it was a screw head, but uh, plus the riv nuts I have to take out. So that's going to be the worst bit. But you never know, they might just be so so bad and corroded, they might just, you know, pull out or, or whatever. I'm not sure, but yeah, I'm going to look at those in a minute. That's the next job. But otherwise, it all looks good. Yeah, very pleasing. That's, that's, that, I'd say that's clean. I like that a lot. I'd say this looks good. So these are the plastic ones which cost 90p. So they all look to be, you know, in um, in good order. I mean, if I do a DeLorean go order and end these in any manner that looks suspicious, then, I'll, then obviously I'll order new ones. Cool. Excellent. Good stuff. Yep, so I'm actually going to check for panel damage. So I can actually, you can actually basically have a really good look through this gap here. Um, this cover um, does actually bend back as well. Also bend forward, sorry. And obviously you can't see here, but you can basically get a torch in there really easily. And I can see there's no panel damage at that end, which is cool. And this one here, this side here does bend back. And then you can, um, you, can't, you can't tell on this, on this, on this here. But when you look, yeah, when you look with your naked eye, uh, I can see that there's basically no panel damage, so I've managed to hoover out most of the dirt, so I'll get in there with a little bit of a brush, but that just accumulates dirt, you know. But I can see in there that, yeah, that there's no panel damage. So that's what I expected anyway for this side. So this side's cool. Um, door looks good, and I, I assume that the front wing looks good as well, but now I know the little technique, I'll take the front wheel off and see if I can see a little through a gap and see that, but I'm pretty confident that that's fine because the bottom of it looks dead straight and spot on. So I think that side is cool to be paint stripped. Excellent, nice. Right, yep, yeah, next part. So, what I did, I'll say thanks to the guys in the forum and all that. Um, angle grinder used to basically grind each each um, remaining sort of head off of these. And then, again, someone suggested drilling them. I tried to drill them, and to be honest, you know, where it's obviously soft aluminium um, on the outside, plastic, foam, whatever, fiberglass, whatever it is. And then a hard screw, it's just really difficult to, to drill. I thought, you know, God, if I drill 24 of those babies out, you know, drills just aren't up, aren't up for it. So somebody else on the forum just suggested um, get rid of the head, such as this one here I've left over, and then just get a punch and then punch it in. And actually when you punch it in, you can tell it that it goes into, you know, some type of sort of glass fibre of some, or foam or sort of, of some type. So yeah, that, that, that goes all the way through there. And apparently, you know, when I mean, someone suggested it, you, know, you might hear one rattle around, but other people said, you know, you, you hear nothing talks because it does go into hard foam, which is how exactly how it feels. Yep, so I'm gonna hit those babies through there, and then I'm gonna I've got my my, my um my well nuts to put in next. Feeling really maybe that the well nuts might be a bit too long. I kind of think actually I probably could have got away with much shorter well nuts. I think they're all the 25 millers. I feel like maybe I could got away with 15 mil well nuts. Possibly, probably. So anyway, I'm gonna try them anyway, and then we'll, and we'll go from there. Oh yes, I'm just gonna hit this last one, um, and then just drill out the right size for the well nuts, install the well nuts, and then, yeah, see how it goes. Excellent, cheers. Right, yeah, the well nuts are in. So these ones I've got 25 mil M6s, plus the, 20, the 30 mil, um, those heads, as long as well as some penny washers, which I think I, I think the spec were 20 mil penny washers, obviously M6 as well. Um, so they're in. So you can see them all in here. Put them in with um, a bit of silicon spray and pushed in nice and tight. So yeah, there's all, all 12 of those are done. What I would what I would say is um, I reckon you can do shorter ones. I think that you can quite easily do 15 mil M6s. Um, and then obviously go for say a 25 mil bolt and then you've got plenty um, This clearly is gonna work, but I think that these are just a bit too long for optimal use yeah. So yeah, go a bit shorter and obviously the shorter ones are cheaper as well So yeah, 15 millers I reckon will probably be the, 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 joy, the job for you guys. Cool. So yeah, they're all in All looking good. So now um, I can basically um, wait for Deloringo to send me the new clips the new um, female clips to go along the top of the sill. So that's fine. So this side here is effectively kind of 
you know, almost done. I'll clean up all these bolts and bits and bobs like that. Make it all look nice. But yeah, once um, the, sil the new seal clips arrive, that can go back in again there. Um, yeah, I'm going to crack on the, does the other side now. Excellent. Right, that pile. So yeah, I can now finish off the job. So the bits from DeLorean go arrived. So I've got um, new clips. Um, so when you, um, really easy to really easy to fit. Obviously they're just pushing the hole, but then you then need to use um, pliers such as these to squeeze like this and like this. Otherwise the tabs don't lock into place and then obviously the clip won't do anything at all. So yeah, put, um, put most of those in, put, put pretty much 90% in. So there's a few which are fine. I thought, you know, why spend even more money when these clips are perfect? I think there's that three or four which were completely fine to use, which is good. Um, I also, of course, also, all those were seized and knackered. So I put in brand new stainless steel ones from behind. And then I used um, some of this fast glass stuff here. Because obviously that's, that should grip it really nicely into there. And then what I also did is um, I had locking nuts. And I don't really want to use the locking nuts on there. Because I feel that the locking nuts, because they're stainless steel locking nuts. The locking nuts with the ring on, um, when it's on there, possibly may... Um, rotate this round maybe so what I've done actually is I use a small dremel just to remove the locking part of the locking nut that way I can it'll just screw straight on job done and it's still stainless steel anyway so because I can get it off in the future without this be this potentially spinning around so that's cool so it's just a top, top little modification that's all but yeah I can now collect it on there which is good um also got some brand new door seals from DeLorean so I've just cleaned Given the first stage of cleaning the back side to get rid of the um you know the dust off them and that way i can apply it uh, with this and i've got some really strong um tape to be able to um you know tape these to the stainless steel um and hold it in place overnight that, that kind of scenario to sew it out so these door seals go on absolutely mint so you're looking in there so there's no point getting rid of all of it but i basically got rid of most of the um most of the old glue, just enough, you know, so we can't see. So when the new seal's on, it's all absolutely spot on. So that's cool. Yep, and so now I'm gonna clip on clip on the um the seals and I've got so I've got my brand new um stainless steel bolts. And obviously we know I've got the new uh well nuts in there as well. So yeah, that would be absolutely a really nice job. Cool, nice one. Oh, yep, hi all. So it's all done now. So yeah, put the seal covers back on with the stainless steel um, fittings, well nuts, all that sort of stuff. The new clips that arrived today from um, DeLorean go, they're in here and they made, and obviously now this, these seal covers now snap up, absolutely beautiful, tight, fit really nicely. The whole thing is just basically top quality. Um, and you can see here that these look really nice if, you, if that's um, focused on that. But yeah, that just looks really, really smart, professional, all that sort of stuff. I also um, repainted um, this section here as well in um, black so that looks good so recommendations for the job is as i mentioned at the beginning of the video the dremel 38 mil this absolutely cuts through those little old rusty old screws perfect and you can do quite a nice neat job that as well as um you know like a little grinding tool on the dremel easy job done um i then recommend not these ones i recommend a 15 mil version of these so these are um m6 these particular ones here I think are 30mm um, but I recommend the 15mm uh, versions that would be fine and then I recommend a 20mm version of a stainless steel screw but or bolt such as these ones here which are the ones I've used um, so 20mm of that 15mm on this I think there was 12 each side possibly um, I always did purchase penny washers and stainless steel but when you actually when you put those up with those I looked underneath you know, it didn't look right. You know, if you made a real hash of cutting off the screw heads, and then you and you obviously cut into the into the um you know, the plastic urethane, then fair play. Maybe maybe go for these. But if you've done quite a nice neat job, then I wouldn't bother with those. I'd go for the standard ones here because they just looked much much neater. So yeah, that's cool. Um, and I say the clips from DeLorean go, um, to hold it on as well. So you get a bunch of that, get a bunch of those in either in advance if you want to do the whole job at, at once. Or take the seals off and then see what the situation is there. Then all the bits, which is what I did. But yeah, it looks absolutely, it looks really nice. I'm really pleased with that. So yeah, another good job on the DeLorean done. The next job is um, to install the door seals. Cool. Cheers. <laughs>